satu ya, Cak. We bought this IKEA furniture a couple of months ago, but since it was raining, we just got the chance recently to put it together and enjoy it. And that was the cut up wood for this patio makeover. I don't know. Like, try really hard. Oh, look at it. Do you slam this on TikTok? A quick announcement before I continue with the video. My website is live now. It is completely rearranged and reorganized. Come and check out what you can find there. There are more videos and recipes. Joad made a window box so I can put some plants in there and it's gonna be a nice view in the morning when I open the curtains but also it will make the space more cozy from the outside as well. After setting up the furniture on the back patio, we started to have rain again. So we were stuck inside and I just tried to be creative and I got some inspiration to make some pasta that is gluten free. Well, this is not exactly what I had in my mind. <laughs> couple of more days of rain on the forecast before the nice weather will arrive so we need to cover the dirt because it's getting too wet <laughs> 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 
when the sun came back we worked really hard in the garden we did a bunch of things there and then after that we went back to the patio project and Jod and the boys started to work on that We were very tight with the time because we were getting ready for the party for my older son's birthday and he wanted to have his friends over and they wanted to be on the deck so we wanted to finish that Since Jod is cleaning up the property, the view is less than pleasant. <laughs> it just looks like a disaster as of right now as he getting around to finish it up. So that's why we wanted to create this cozy spot and create a nice view. And these bushes will come out later on because they will grow very fast, but they are forever green and then we will keep them here for one or two years and then we're going to plant them out somewhere on the property We were able to save a lot of money by not buying them in a bucket. We bought this from a landscaping company and that way it was almost a half of the price than in a regular gardening center. We survived the celebration <laughs> and this is the next day, the early morning, everybody's still asleep so I'm enjoying the quiet time and I'm just literally putting on the last finishing touches, <laughs> meaning of that taking off the ribbons off of the bushes and just untying them. We were that tight with the time to finish it up. And since everybody's still asleep, I'm going to make a breakfast. Well, actually, I don't have to make anything. We have some leftovers from the party, so I'm just going to have that for breakfast. But basically just putting away all that it's left from the afternoon fun. And we took out the garbage and I'm just resetting the things. younger son started to show some interest into art again so started to get messy so I was thinking maybe we can create a shelf unit there with Joad's hat but I find an even faster solution for that I just bought this organizer um, off of Amazon
See that hole right there? That's where the screw goes from. You see? Huh. Okay, so now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's, it's very sturdy. sturdy. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's super sturdy. It's really impressed. We are back to the cloudy days again, so I am going to tackle a few things inside of the home. So as the teacher days was coming up, I bought some cards and I went to Marshalls and I got some nice teas over there. I thought this is gonna be a good gift to them instead of the usual coffee card <laughs> because that way they can drink it more often or if they don't like it, somebody maybe in their family can use it. It's also more affordable as I have to keep it in mind that my kids have lots of teachers so <laughs> I had to keep it uh, budget friendly I think tissue papers are so underrated because they have cuter patterns than the regular wrapping paper and also they are softer so it's easier to wrap gifts in there
know the nights when you wake up around 3 a.m. and you get all sorts of great ideas? I mean, it seems like it's a good idea at the time. <laughs> That's what happened. So I couldn't sleep and I was just thinking and <laughs> I got some creative ideas that I want to make now, which is putting spirulina into the deviled eggs. And as I said in my mind it looked really awesome <laughs> but as I was progressing <laughs> it started to look like a uh, duck poop <laughs> well it didn't affect the taste but the look guys I don't know I let this up to you to decide if you find this appetizing or not <laughs> Last week, when we had those beautiful sunny days, we planted out a bunch of plants that uh, likes the colder weather a little bit better, and that would be the broccoli, the cauliflower. We also added more raised beds, and uh, we moved some things around. And <laughs> the biggest project that we did, and biggest change, is we just restarted with the whole entire dirt situation because we have lots of clay in the dirt and no matter what we put in there year after year it become clayish again it's just the nature of where we live with the lots of pine trees so we just pulled out all the dirt from all the raised beds <laughs> and then we bought some dirt in there and I think it was a good investment because we're gonna be good for a good while and I didn't have to test that soil as well and um, so it contains it's called the garden rich planting soil and it's a blend of yard debris compost cow and chicken manure aged bark finds um, sand forest wood biochar dry dried poultry manure fish bone meal limestone that's for the ph control alfalfa meal feather meal and cap meal this is what it contains now could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes until winter comes until winter comes You guessed it right the rainy days are back again <laughs> i saw this cute embroidery idea on instagram you can follow i just um, had it on the screen where i saw that but i thought i'm going to recreate that because it's just going to make this white sweater just cuter with this detail Now that the gardening season is here, I don't think I, I'm gonna do a lots of embroidery or painting anytime soon, but I couldn't resist to try to make uh, this kitchen towel a little bit cuter. This is a very easy meal to create. If you have a cabbage at home and some gluten-free pasta, you are good to go to create that. It's a, such a light um, meal. Countryside is 
Once the pasta is cooked, I'm going to add it to the cabbage, salt and pepper. Lots of pepper. And I just want to share this very quick idea that <laughs> it popped out of my head. We had a bunch of bananas that was going bad and I didn't want it to bake a banana bread. So that's a different way to process an overripe banana. I just mix it with some almond milk and cornstarch and I added just a tiny bit of maple syrup. You don't have to that banana is sweet enough but I just cooked that together and it made a banana pudding. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end of this video and as for the website I really hope that you enjoy the new layout and the new way of that it has been organized and it will be easier for you to find everything that you want there so I will have all the recipes as a printable so if you go to the post you can watch a video in more detail how to make them and I will have a couple of words to share about the recipe and then also you can just click on a section where it will be right away just you can just print it as is and then you can see all the ingredients and how to make it and then also I want to say thank you so much for the gifts that you guys have sent me I so appreciate that and I love reading your letters as well I received the jars from Australia thank you so much you know who you are <laughs> and I really really appreciate this special things and um, I cannot wait to try these so thank you so much for that I really appreciate that you guys have no idea what it means to me that you watch my videos and I really hope that my website will be helpful to you I am planning to slowly adding more over there as well as for content and I have different things that are coming but I want to share once it's ready again thank you so much for being here and I will see you either on the website or I will see you soon in my next video bye